Hey guys, Barry here from Epic. In today's video, I will demonstrate to you how to change your brake sensors in the event that uh, they become faulty or something happens and you need to replace them. So uh, to do this, I'll show you the tools that we're gonna need. So we have here our two replacement brake sensors, the zip ties to re reorganize the wires later, a cutter, a two millimeter Allen key, uh, eight millimeter wrench and as well a lighter might be helpful because the connectors uh, sometimes when, when they come out of the factory sometimes they're very hard to pull apart so if you heat it up a little bit it should help so I'll demonstrate that anyways so let's uh, let's get started so first we're going to take our scissors and you're going to want to open up this uh, shrink tube here so to get access Let's just cut it open. We'll just remove this completely for the video. All right. So here's access to the sensors. And we can also cut this zip tie, which we have replacements for after. So give it a little bit more leverage there. Okay, so we're going to follow here. Here's the brake sensor which is underneath at the bottom of the brake lever. Now off the bat, as I mentioned, it could be very difficult to remove it. If you can, great, but just be careful that you don't pull too hard because you can ruin the wire and then you're in trouble. So let me demonstrate how to heat it up. So you're gonna take a light and go, not right on it, but kind of close. That should ease it up. still difficult let me heat it up a little bit more All right there you go that made it much easier okay so now we got the sensor disconnected next we're gonna need to remove this screw now to do this we're gonna have to remove this um, screw underneath and this is where our two millimeter Allen key comes into play. So let's get it in here. All right. We got the screw out now. I'll just set it aside for now. And now you should be able to just twist this screw because so once you take this screw out, you can remove the sensor. So we got the sensor out, let's say your faulty sensor, and now we're gonna put the replacement sensor in. So now you're gonna notice that there's, uh, on the sensor, there's a notch on it. So the notch, you're gonna wanna make sure it goes in to the notch here on top. So it matches in, notch goes up, we get that in and then we start screwing again lightly before we put the bolt back in we're going to test it to see that it's at the right position so i'm going to reconnect the wire now you'll notice also on the sensor that there is an arrow on the top so you're going to want to match the arrow with the other arrow here on the connection and as well as the notch and two sensors so let's push that together all right so they are connected okay now i'm just going to power the scooter on okay once the scooter is powered on we're going to test it and now i'm going to see how far i can go into this so i'm going to hold the lever about one third and start twisting the screw, effectively pushing the sensor in. So soon, I'm gonna keep going. So I'm adjusting it just by hand right now. And we're gonna wait until the brake sensor light comes on. There we go. 
So that's good. And you'll be able to tell that the replacement sensors can go deeper than the original ones. All right, so let's see here. Now that you got it where you want it, we're gonna put the screw back in to tighten it up so it doesn't move anywhere. And we will repeat with the other side. So I'm going to remove the sensor here. Heat it up a little bit. There we go. I think we removed this screw already. Or not. Okay, get the screw out. I got this out. Now I was able to do this by hand. Uh, sometimes it might be a little bit tight or if you want to tighten a little bit more, you can use this. And in this case, I did not have to use the eight millimeter wrench. So let's put the replacement lever in. Again, top notch facing up to go into the notch here that matches, matches it. Slider in. Tighten the screw a little bit just to get it started. And let's connect the connectors. Again, making sure that the arrows both align to each other, as you can see here, arrow to arrow. Once it's arrow to arrow, we can plug it in. All right, now we're gonna do our brake sensor test. So I'm gonna look here at the screen. I'm gonna hold, now when you see when I touch the brake levers, there's no uh, sensor indicator going off, so that's not deep enough, obviously. So I'm going to hold it, the lever, one third of the way, a little bit less than half, and I'm going to start to tighten the screw. And the point of holding it one third is that when you touch the brakes, essentially you want it to go off right away, the brake inhibitors. So as you can see, I'm tightening the screw. It still has not gone off yet, but it should momentarily. going there you go so now it's off so this is a good position and now we're gonna retighten the screw so that it is fixed let's get that in here tight and as you can see the screw is in a lot deeper than the faulty sensors they were out so they were a lot there the problem is they were very sensitive so they would go off uh, very frequently to getting stuck all the time. But with these replacement sensors, they're not as sensitive. You can go a lot deeper and they will be working for you just fine. So that's that. And then finally, um, you can add a, a couple more zip ties if you like, just to organize your cables a little nicer here. So let's, let's do that quickly just to make a nice clean job. So I'm gonna take these wires together. And then if you want, if you have shrink tube, you can re-shrink your uh, connectors. Okay, and we'll do, do some here.
I'm just going to move this light a little bit. Okay. And I may as well just take off the rest of the shrink tube because that's not going to be reused. All right. There you go. That's that. Clean up a little bit. And voila, guys, we're done. That's how simple it is to replace your brake sensors. Uh, if this was helpful, please give us a like, subscribe. We'll do more videos. If you have any uh, requests for any videos that you'd like to see, how-to how videos, comment below, and we will do that. We're doing this video because somebody asked us to do it, and uh, we appreciate that. So anything we can do to help you, we will. Uh, as always, uh, uh, wishing you guys an epic day or night. Check us out, epiccycles.ca. We got all the parts, accessories for these scooters and the scooters as well uh, available. Um, other than that, look forward to the next video.